Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, mahalo for watching. Today's video, I want to do a review of the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho. Yes, right here, it's fairly compact, only weighs 13 ounces, so it's pretty small and compact. This is the bag that it comes with, it's the same material as the poncho is made out of. One really cool feature is there's some mesh at the bottom, so you can pack this poncho wet and it'll drain out the bottom. You've got some mesh right here. I really like that feature of this bag. And there's a little loop right there. And there's another loop right here. And you can hang it. And there's a nice toggle right there to cinch it down and keep it in there. And it goes back in the bag fairly easy. And you can see it's compact and lightweight. Now, sorry I haven't been filming and, and uploading videos uh, this past week uh, I think I'll do about two this week uh, and I usually do more than that it's been raining so much here and this is the first day that's been kind of clear now that's not necessarily a bad thing because I had a poncho to review and over the past you know week and a half I've used this a lot <laughs> so don't go away I'm gonna roll in some footage and you'll see it raining in the jungle stay tuned the measurements on this poncho from the shoulder down it's about three and a half feet across is about four feet I'm five foot nine it covers me fine you can see I'm wearing some rain boots right there or I don't know if you can see that but it covers me fine not a problem the one thing that I want to stress with this is it does not turn into a shelter as easily as some of the other military ponchos. Right, your typical military poncho will have some button snaps right down here and you can fillet it out and it becomes a shelter fairly easy. See there's no grommets on this and I could turn this into a shelter but it's not going to be as nice as some of the other military ponchos that can fillet out and have grommets on the edges and everything. Uh, but I gotta say the material is really nice super waterproof it just beads off just super super slick silky kind of uh, material tough rip stop i do have a complaint with the rubber band or rubber elastic band thing or whatever this is uh, it does get wet and it stays uh, moist it's kind of like a sponge uh, but not a problem because what you could do is you could just roll it over like this and it's not going to get wet, but it'll stay in place. You know, it's pretty nice. All right? Now the hood covers my hat. I really like that. There's an adjustment right here. You can see that. So you, if you're wearing a helmet or something, you can make the hood a little bit bigger. Or you can make it tighter. Right? And there's a zipper. That zipper is pretty good. Seems like a good zipper. And it's got two toggles right here. You can cinch it down and just get that, you know, just get that real tight. 
you know, around your head and around the bill of your hat. I really like that. And there's a pouch with a Velcro strip right here. And this is for like maybe a map or a compass or something that you want to store and have easy access to in this pouch. So you're not always digging through your pockets or something, you know, because it's under your poncho and it'd be fairly hard to get to, let's say, stuff in your backpack or something, right? So this little pouch, this kangaroo pouch is awesome. It's got some Velcro on it. Comes out like that. And you can fit, you know, a good amount of stuff in there, you know, map, compass, stuff like that. If you're walking around in the rain. And then it has this hand, like a hand warmer, I guess you'd call it. You put my hands in here. You see that? It's got a, just a little pass through hand warmer kind of thing to protect your hands. I'm getting wet. And it only weighs about 13 ounces, so it's fairly light. And like I said, the material is tough. It's got a strong feel to it, but it's like a, like it's silky, you know, very slick. And it just beads the water up and you just go like that and it just flicks off, you know, it just slides right off of it. You know. Okay. I'm going to say jungle approved for $35, $36, not, not going to break the bank and it works. It's tough, compact, great for backpacking, hiking, camping. You can throw this in your truck and, and always have a, a poncho or throw it in your bug out bag or in your EDC bag or whatever. I, I'm going to EDC this, uh, you know, in the jungle in Hawaii, you never know when it's going to rain. So this is uh, almost a necessity in my opinion for EDC uh, in the jungle. Now I will provide a link to Amazon where you can go purchase this poncho and that helps support the channel and I thank you for that. So yes, jungle approved for about $36. You can get them in camo, you can get them in other colors. This one is an OD green. But yeah, I think uh, the camo ones are a little bit more expensive and the, the tan ones are a little bit more expensive. But I mean, you know, this works fine. Great color, works perfect. Awesome, jungle approved, $36. And you can't go wrong. I'm gonna wrap this video up right here. I wanna thank you for the like. I wanna thank you for the subscription. Thank you for the comment. Make sure you hit the bell symbol to get notifications for when I upload a video. You can watch it and tell me what you think. Until next time, aloo.